You are looking at the all-new redesigned Lexus RX, now available in Singapore. Buy or sell your car now with Car Buyer Singapore and check out the latest automotive content with us. Our dear Julian had a go behind the wheel back in September of last year in California. You can check that out by clicking the I in the top right hand corner. But it's officially on our shores as we saw at the Motor Show. And in line with a fully electrified range here by 2025, the Lexus RX will have an all-hybrid range here. Now this is the base 350H variant, but the 450H and 500H will also be available with the 450H Plus plug-in hybrid variant. Now, let's see what this luxury SUV is like on our Singapore roads. Now, right off the bat, you have Lexus's famous big spindle front grille. But now, it's half open and half closed. Big as it is, still not quite as aggressive as some big grills tend to be. You also get LED DRLs, headlamps, and the rear features a light bar that comes together with the LEDs, giving the rear a very integrated and complete look. Now the RX is the same as before in length at 4.9 meters long, but the wheelbase is 60 millimeters longer, coming in at 2,850 millimeters, and it's slightly wider at 25 millimeters. Now with these slight size increments, let's check out how spacious it is from the rear. Lexus states that the 350H has a good 612 liters of space in the boot. Just for comparison, the seven-seater Kia Sorento Hybrid has 616 liters with the third row folded down. This is the rear of the Lexus RX. Luke, how is it for you? Well, after all, this is a luxury SUV and I must say it is, it is luxe inside. You know, you look at the finish, uh, the comfort level is there. You know, everything from the seats to the finish to headroom, it's all very decent. Yeah, he looks proper comfy. But you also get this center console with a little storage compartment and a nice little pop-out cup holder. How sick is that? And there is air conditioning controls back here. You get ventilated seats for a cool air. No wonder it's so cold. Nice. And there's USB ports, so you're not short on that back here. But my one gripe is how you open the doors in the RX. So uh, technically, you just push this lever down and then you can open it up. But you can also pull it like a normal lever, but you gotta pull it twice before it opens. So that's a little bit annoying, but otherwise, very lush. I like it. Now we're in the front seat of the Lexus RX. It is pretty lush, you know, the same suede, I think, um, material. There's a lot less wood than before, but it's still very, very nice and refined. What do you think? I think, yeah, it's definitely, as I mentioned many times, this is a luxury SUV. <laughs> this is luxurious the moment you look at it, you know, yeah. from the center console to, you know, the finish of the wood, yeah. your compartments. There's even, you know, a moonroof and a sunroof as well. Yeah, there's a 14-inch uh, infotainment screen that comes with wireless Apple CarPlay. And you have your digital driver's display, USB ports and wireless charging in a nice, neatly hidden away so it's not messy, you know, it doesn't mess with the Zen. And last but not least, you have a little storage box here that opens both ways. You have a storage oh, I have a storage box too! There we go. But my favourite little party trick is this um, beverage holder here that you can... BAM! Juice! But um, it also comes with a huge like array of Lexus safety systems. Of course, that's important when you're driving a car this big and in Singapore's cramped roads. But, you know, let's see what it does and put it to the test on the roads. Alright, so the RX has 247 horsepower, 270 Nm of torque, and that gives a 0 to 100 km per hour time of 7.9 seconds. Now, if you actually want the exact figures, you can check out Julian's video like we mentioned earlier when he was uh, driving this car in California. But uh, one thing worth mentioning is that the RX has a few economy reading of 5.6 litres per 100 kilometers, and that's according to Lexus Singapore. Okay, this car is big as you can tell. Um, so we're gonna put it to the parking test and see how easy it is to maneuver into a parking lot, right? So now we're in reverse and we've got a lot, you know, inside and I'm just gonna turn. Can we make it? Yes, yes we can. There she goes, right in to the lot. 
and of course it comes with like you know your camera and stuff to make sure that to give you the extra vision you know because it is so big you want to make sure you're backing into the lock properly lest you end up on Rhodes SG. Now the evergreen question presents itself should you buy it avoid it or shortlist it? Well for this best ver- I'll just start my line. Okay. <coughs> Well, for this base variant, Lexus 350H, it retails for $412,800 Singapore dollars with COE as of February 2023. And our verdict is, you should... Shortlist it! Now see, if you're looking for a hybrid in Singapore, there's certainly no shortage of them, but the refinement of the RX is what you might not find in those hybrids, especially in an SUV. Yeah, and besides, you could do far worse at the pump with such a good fuel economy for this car. But if you're concerned about cutting off com emissions completely, you could stick around for the Lexus RZ, their upcoming EV that we also saw at the Singapore Motor Show. That's all for our Lexus RX 350H review. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button. And the bell icon so you don't miss out whenever we upload a new video. And subscribe to our YouTube channel, Car by Singapore, for more automotive content.